All right, welcome to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to those who have been following. I am Aesop Grimm, and uh, we are here in the Lost City. I went ahead and changed to that uh, Cursed Azure paint scheme, and I got all my equipment and weapons following after that. So uh, I, think it, I just think it looked a, lo a lot better. I like the little details in it, you know, the scored metal and stuff like that. I think it looks pretty cool. But um, the other thing that I did was... Uh, let's check in with Master Rahul first. Hmm, what cipher is this? Insight unyielding plate. Experimental pattern shell. Services, materials exchange, and focus decoding. Okay. The world's changing, Guardian. You must prepare and adapt. 1802. Alrighty then. So I came over here and I talked to Banshee. And uh, I guess I don't need to talk to him now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what he's got, though. Uh, bounties, of course. But uh, you got Fire Fright. Nazarax, Whisper, Cantata, Threaded Needle, Linear Fusion Rifle. Okay. Contingency Plan, and Arc Scout Rifle. I don't do... Well, for some reason I said Scout Rifle, but I was thinking Sniper Rifle. So yeah, it's a Scout. And then we've got uh, Percy's, Lodbrock, Agma, Combined Action. That might be interesting for my... My hunter has Lucky Pants. So I'm sort of collecting hand cannons for him. Typhon and Marsilian. But he also gave me... Well, it's not on here, actually, but it, it's a quest for the Catalyst. Uh, for, what's this called? Centrifuge. So if I open up my log, it is right here, higher voltage. Rebuild the Centrifuge's Catalyst by rapidly defeating targets and defeating them with arc final blows. So we'll be working on that as we work on Into the Depths. Now that brings me to the next thing. All of these, uh, this is video number three, and I've recorded them all in the same day. One, two, and three. And so in between recording videos, I've been kind of researching online, trying to find out how the heck do I get this legendary campaign going? Remember, I'm a blueberry. And uh, what I found out is that legendary campaigns are for like uh the yearly i guess dlc packages that drop so witch queen had a legend legendary campaign and and if you bought the yearly package you got the witch queen expansion and all of the seasons you know the season passes for that whole year and then same thing with uh, Lightfall. Lightfall was a full DLC release. And if you bought the entire package and you got, I guess, what's called the season pass for Lightfall, you got all of the seasons that are going to release this year. But in between those, the, 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 I guess inside, so you have the campaign in Witch Queen, and you have the campaign in Lightfall, and you have legendary options. But then each season, including the Witch Queen season and the Lightfall season, and then things like the Season of Plunder and Season of the Seraph, those are just regular, they're just storylines. 
so you have a storyline mission and uh and there's no legendary options so it took me a while to learn all of that and figure it out i had to talk with my brother about it a little bit actually because uh, i tried looking online but it's one of those things that destiny players just sort of intuitively know and understand so there, there wasn't anybody asking that question i was i was the caboose on that train but uh I, I had to go back and rename my videos and my playlists. So sorry if I misled anybody in uh, thinking that this was going to be a legendary campaign. But I wanted to show you this. Ikora now offers quests that you can, I guess there's a lot of steps in them. But if you're new, if you're a noob like I am, and I, I can't say I'm new because I've been playing Destiny 2 off and on for quite a while, but I don't play it a lot, you know, and I take long breaks off of Destiny. So there's a lot of things I don't have when it comes to exotics. And she offers quests to get the, I guess, baseline versions of a whole slew of exotics. So... I guess we would do this quest line here and once we're complete with that it opens up her other options is what I'm thinking. Ikora looks up at your approach. You have already felt the chaotic surge of arc light. It is only the start to a deeper understanding. There are many applications of arc but I want you to focus on the ability to jolt. Jolted targets will chain lightning to others nearby. An excellent way to clear the battlefield quickly. Ikora gives you an encouraging smile. Be patient, Guardian. Arc light can be chaotic and demanding. Return when you have more experience with Jolt, and I will guide you down the path of greater power. And we get Dune Marchers for that. Ikora Ray will be your guide as you train your light. Follow her instructions and harness the chaotic river of Arc. So, see, you can even tell from, from the way the wording is that this is intended for new players. Step one of seven. All right, and here's her other ones. So, I can get Synthoseps, and I can get a Heart of Inmost Light. And uh, I'll grab them yes, of course. all just to, I don't know, just to have them. Maybe the roll I get is better, although... I forgot to read that other one. Ah, uh, fellow practitioner Void Light, I hope that in time you come to regard the Cosmic Abyss with as much fascination and awe as I do. A warm, almost wistful smile flickers across Ikora's face. Mastery will come with time and practice. For the moment, focus on Void's ability to weaken your targets. Weakened foes have a harder time fighting back, giving you an immediate advantage. Ikora gives you a piercing look, suddenly stern. A word of caution, Guardian. Do not emulate me when I was younger. Brash, proud, and impatient. Void Light is as subtle as it is potent, and it will take time to master Weaken. Return when you have done so, and I will guide you down the path of greater power. Okay, so what I was saying is uh, my brother is convinced, and I, I tend to believe him, that my Synthoseps is actually a really good role. And uh, I feel confident that my Heart of Light is very good. I I've actually got that on me. I've got both on me. So there's my Synthoseps roll. You got to subtract uh, 10 and 12 is tw 22 points off that to get the natural. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Golly, it was only 59 points. This. Yeah, huh. But the distribution, according to my brother, is pretty good. I would prefer to have those 17 points of intellect and discipline, but... So it's not a perfect god roll, but it's stout, according to him. My Heart of Inmost Light, I think, is just kind of easy to say it's good. I have 31 points of resilience in there, 10 discipline, and 14 strength. So, uh, if I had room, do I not have, uh, 
here we would put three point there so it's a uh, 86 points total so I don't know if those uh, quests for my core are what Ray hey, will Guardian? be good enough to Guardian. Hello. to uh, trump what I've already got but it might be Hawthorne and Lewis both light up as you approach it's easy to feel adrift in all this, Guardian. Don't forget, it's our ties to each other that keep us grounded. It may not always seem like much, but the work you do with your clan and the example you set, it matters to me and to a whole lot of other folks. Thank you. All right, accept, accept. No, I guess not. <laughs> it won't let me accept, it's in the cards. Okay, so you have the last wish raid with her now. And if you accomplish all of those things, then um, then you get uh, pattern progress on a whole slew of weapons that are available in last wish wish, and you can craft them. Catch you later. They'll be craftable. So, uh, anywho, we will now press on. We're going to head to the helm. And start Operation Thunderbolt. I, I want to make sure that that's what I was supposed to do. Quests. Complete the mission Operation Thunderbolt. Yeah. Okay, my bad. I should have clicked on destinations. Helm. And off we go. This is Operation Thunderbolt. Asa has alerted us to a shelf of coral infested with a fungal spore we can use. However, it's in hostile territory. Always is, was, will be. Indeed. Forward Intel reports a Wrathborn servitor patrols the area. And it is not alone. You have two sites to hit. Deploy excavation equipment, defend and extract. Deputy Commander, Guardian, divide and conquer. Bring the Drifter what he needs. This guy here that I'm just, that I'm whispering, he's helped me with quite a few things. He's helped explain the game to me and helped me get through some raids. I had never done raids before, you know, so I teamed up with him and he took me through some of that. Uh, I'm not using kinetic weapons primarily. I am using precision, I guess. Increased damage from all your weapons by 13%. So the old man asked you to babysit. I'm your heir superiority. From aboard a Cabal cruiser? Never thought I'd see the day. Meet the Empress, then I'll hear your judgment. Fair enough. To be honest, it's just nice to be back running with the both of you. On that, we can agree. Okay, dive into the deep. Well, where do I do that at? Oh, here. <laughs> All right. Okay, I heard beeping over here. Here we go. Okay, I might die a few times. There we go. As I learn what I'm doing.
What's going on right here? Oof. Should I go down there? Yeah, I have to. Okay. Some of this stuff is harvestable. Oh boy, that's a heck of a drop.
found this gift and revel in it. Kneel, then I may lay my blade across thy breast. The quiver of your heart to resonate its black edge. I bruised it for you. Now take it down.
Arbiter's coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then, meet their challenge. I bruised it for you. Now take it down! Servitor's coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then, meet their challenge. I bruised it for you. Now take it down!
Conservator's coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then, meet their challenge. I bruised it for you. Now take it down! Servitor's coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then, meet their challenge. I bruised it for you. Now take it down! Servitor's coming in hot, Guardian. Let it take you. Then, meet their challenge. I bruised it for you. Now take it down!
sites are secure, and you just punched us a way out. Good. You haven't lost a step. Well, I've had a lot of dive time. But the Guardian took to the sea like a fish. Send over the submersible beacon, and let's transmat this hull back to the rig. You're sure this new ally of yours is trustworthy? Hasn't let me down yet. You asked me to trust you about the Empress. Trust me about Asa. Oasis in the desert. Seeds of hope buried beneath the sands. Nomads. Wanderers. Travelers. Their journey comes to an end. The first to be claimed by the deep. The first to fall victim to the witness. <gasps>
So you heard all of that, huh? Hard to believe, but it's not just noise. I can understand bits and pieces of it through Asa. Zebu Arath's thirst for battle, the witnesses' cold rage, the Taken's enmity. It's all in there. I started hearing it when my arm got this new paint job, but it hasn't sounded that real since. Doesn't matter. I've been through it before, and I can get through it again. Asa has vital information about the witness. I'll do whatever it takes so she can deliver it. That's the mission, and I always complete the mission. Asa and I both need to recover before we boost our connection again. Until then, continue helping Drifter upgrade his technology. I hate to admit it, but his plan seems like it might actually work.